Hello, hello. I'm just coming to you today with a brief update about what I'm seeing in the real estate market in Cabo, Los Cabos in general. My name is Kenda and I am a founding partner of a real estate brokerage called Finn Real Estate Group. And I just wanted to share with you some things that I'm seeing that are changing in the market. Now, most people in the Cabo, Los Cabos area right now know that it is a seller's market. And yes, that is absolutely true. If you have been contemplating selling your home, now is the time. You're gonna wanna call me, I'm gonna sell your house for top dollar. But a lot of people have actually been hesitating to sell because there's nowhere to go. We had no inventory especially in the San Jose and the San Jose corridor area. So here's a little bit of an update about what's going on in San Jose. I'm seeing more properties coming on the market and that's really exciting for me because for a while I would check every day and just nothing was coming available and it was really tough. But right now in the San Jose area, there are 70, approximately 70 properties on the MLS as available for sale. And that doesn't really include the area close to the airport. I'm really kind of just saying this, this area in, in Maine, San Jose. It also does not include the East Cape, which has more properties, but there are unique properties. So right now, San Jose, about 70 homes and or condos on the market. As you start moving down the corridor into the San Jose corridor, you're gonna look at about 75 more. So in general, San Jose and the San Jose corridor has about 145 properties, condos and or homes that are listed on the MLS as being for sale right now. Now Cabo, Los Cabos, the Cabo San Lucas area has a lot more inventory. So if you get into the Cabo corridor, this is the area kind of behind uh, Home Depot and behind Costco. There's, I'm sure you've noticed, a ton of property uh, development back in those areas. So as we get into that area, you're looking at more like 212 available properties. A lot of them are new construction or pre-construction. So you're taking the 145 on San Jose and San Jose Corridor and, and looking at twice that almost for just the Cabo Corridor. And then once you get into including the Cabo properties, uh, you're looking at like 479 or something like that available properties in Cabo and the Cabo Corridor. That's not even including the East Cape, that's just, or the Pacific side. So Toto Santos or the East Cape, that's just Cabo and the Cabo Corridor. So obviously a lot more available real estate inventory in Cabo and the Cabo Corridor. It's still pretty slim in San Jose and the San Jose Corridor, which means that the prices are gonna be a little bit higher in the San Jose Corridor. But I am seeing, as I said, more inventory. So if you've been thinking, gosh, I really wanna capitalize on this market and sell my house and, and realize a, a profit, now is the time because we do have more inventory to show you for when you sell your house where are you gonna go? There are still a few neighborhoods that are pretty slim and hard to get into, but if you would like to talk to me about this, I would love to sit down, go over the numbers with you and see if now is the right time for you to sell your house because it could be a very profitable time to sell your house, especially in San Jose and San Jose Corridor. So I'm Kenda. And I'm one of the founding partners of a boutique real estate uh, brokerage here in Cabo called Finn Real Estate Group. And I would love to help you sell your home at top dollar. So holla, let's talk. Have a great day.